Hello and good morning dear students. Welcome to your grammar class. So today we are going to learn about AM is R plus ING form of verbs. In our previous class we have learned that there are two types or kinds of verbs. One is action and another one is being verb. So action verb I have told you see, eat, whatever you so I know uh, action you do and the being words are am is and are so here which uh, we are going to learn that am is are is also have other verbs am is and are also have other the other verb and hence they are also known as helping Verb. So in our in our previous class we have learned that A M is and R they are called being verbs. Now in this chapter we learn that A M is and R also have the other verbs. Hence they are also known as helping verb. For example, uh, see to understand this, let me give you one example. Example, for example, if I write I I am a teacher Okay I am a teacher So, and the next example I write I am writing I am writing a letter Okay so, to understand this, let me explain you with the example. So, here in the first sentence, I am a teacher. So, here, being words, am, out here is the main verb. So, in the first sentence, am acts as a main verb in this sentence first sentence i am a teacher okay now if you move on to if you see the next sentence that is i am writing a letter you can find there are two verbs that one is am all right and the another one is writing so in this case am the word am is helping the another verb in the word am is helping the another verb writing so here this am acts as a helping verb here okay and this is your main verb main verb so this is how am have other verb in a sentence so uh, this is the way now if i write another sentence uh, using is uh, for example neha is uh, neha is ready neha is ready a book. Neha is reading a book. Here is is a verb and reading is also a verb. But the but uh, here is is helping the another verb to make it a sensible uh, sentence or meaningful sentence. So Neha is out here is a helping verb. Okay, here is acts as a helping verb and reading is a main verb. So in the sentence is a and is are also have the other verb. So a and is helping the other verb that is writing, isn't it? 
Here is is helping other work that is reading, isn't it? Also helping other work. Hands they are called known as helping work. So A M is and R in the previous class. I told you that A M is and R also known as helping verbs. So I told you, I showed you how and why they are called helping verbs. Okay. Now, uh, so remember, whenever you use a helping verb and a verb, it is and the main verb is always end with the ing form of verb. As you can see here in the sentence. I am a teacher. There is no uh, since am is not helping any other verb. There is no any other verb. So am is the main verb in the first sentence. But if you see the next sentence, I am writing a letter. So am is helping another verb. So another verb that is main verb uh, writing. So this is like write plus. I N G. Okay. So main verb write plus I N G writing. Okay. So when we use any of these with another verb, when we use these, any of these with another verb, another verb, any other verb, we should add I N G to the second verb. So second verb here, first verb, second verb. So write plus I N G. Writing. Okay, only here in this kind of sentences. This is different, you know, uh, different sentence, isn't it? And this one is different sentence. So there are two verbs. Whenever you use this, a m is are in a sentence uh, with another verb, we always put or add i n g to the next verb or the second verb. So. Uh, I have showed you the example also. Now, so in order to show this uh, ing form of verb, or explain you, uh, let me do some other examples so that it will be easier for you to understand. Okay? Just now I have showed you why these are called helping verb. Now, uses of ing with the verb. See, it is there in the book. I am eating. I am eating and I scream. I am eating and I scream. So here in this sentence, it is. I'll go down. A M. Okay, here plus. Second verb eat plus ing. Why this is sign this sign minus sign because this is a continuation. Okay, so uh, whatever verb you write, you put you add this ing. This means okay. So this is here am eat and ing. Okay, so this is how we add in the sec ing in the second verb. Okay, to make it a clear statement or sentence. Then next one is he. He is climbing. Climbing. A mountain. He is climbing a mountain. So stop. Here also is is here helping verb. Then plus what is the another verb we have used here? Climb. Isn't it? Climb is another verb and plus. We have used ing. Is that clear? So, uh, whenever 
we use a m e s r with another verb this is actually a verb isn't it we have learned that a m e s r are also verb but whenever we use them with other verbs so we always add i n g to the second verb for example i am eating an ice cream so a m is a verb eat is also verb so we add i n g there so this a m in this sentence acts as a helping verb here act as a helping verb in a sentence in a sentence here also he is climbing a mountain here also is is helping verb why because he here is is helping the other verb that is climb so in order to make it a meaningful sentence we need to add ing to the second verb okay like this understood now so i hope you have understood it and then we'll do some exercises from this book so here it is only said that uh, am is are are also called are also known as helping verbs but if you move on to higher classes you will learn that am is are they are auxiliary verb auxiliary means like same they have the other verb which you are going to learn in the higher classes okay so just for now you need to remember that am is are are being words being verbs and also am is are helping verbs okay now see in your page number 62 write the ing form of this verb write the ing form of this verb here a uh, e number write the ing form of these verbs so verbs a word verbs are there given there in one number work work so what you need to do is write the ing form of the verb that means you need to add ing okay to like sleep okay third third uh, Play. Okay, I'll do this much only. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to add. These are what? These are verbs, isn't it? These are these words are verbs. So you need to add I N G. So what will be uh, the uh, the word? Work plus I N G. Work. I N G. Working. is it it is work plus ing okay work plus ing you don't have you don't have to do this okay just like just add ing ing in all those words For example sleep sleeping okay play play so uh, there are more words in the book please write it all using ing form of verbs so why this is important to add or to use ing in the second verb because you know like if i write i working i working in school 
So, see, in this sentence, I working in school, does it make any sense? No, because, you know, working only, working, work only does not make any sense in this type of sentence. If you write like, I am working in school. I am working in school. So this makes a complete sense. This gives you complete meaning. Okay, so this is why it is very important to use these words. Okay, use these words. Now uh, there are in B exercise complete these sentences using EM, E's and R with ing form of verbs in the bracket so here they dash with their friends so they always it is plural is it obviously it is plural so they are playing okay uh, I'll, I'll do some one thing uh, we'll do this exercises through whatsapp okay We'll do these exercises through WhatsApp and if you find any problem you can text me, you can you know ask me. Okay? So I hope you have understood. So this much for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, take care and keep learning. Thank you so much.